San Angelo's current water resources will dry up in less than two years if there is no rain to replenish them. To ensure that the city has water in the future, officials are moving forward with the Hickory Aquifer Project. Once completed, the Hickory will supply San Angelo with water for at least 50 years. The Hickory is vital to us. Uh, we, we, we need that source because it's all of the surface water sources are entirely reliant on rain. And what we run into out in West Texas is drought conditions like we've had this last several years and we run into this very frequently really. And so groundwater sources are much more reliable. They don't, they aren't quite as uh, reliant on rain sources. So um, we're able to utilize a, a uh, groundwater source such as the Hickory uh, to a much better degree during drought, drought conditions. Well, I think one of the things when you look at water supply, one of the examples that I often give is it really needs to be like someone's investment portfolio and it needs to be diversified. And so when we look at our water por portfolio, we want a diversified water uh, portfolio. And if, if you look at the river behind me, this is actually the South Concho River that feeds Twin Buttes. And one of the things that we have learned from history and we can see today is that the environmental conditions can drastically impact surface water supplies. And so we really need to diversify our water portfolio with bringing some underground water sources in play because they don't feel the immediate impacts of a drought. And, and it just gives you another source and it gives you more options as a community really to secure the source of, to secure water, which um, when you look at a community's viability is critical with our effort depleting, as, as we don't get rain uh, for each day that comes, uh, we're, getting, we're depleting our municipal water source. And so it's absolutely critical that we move forward with opening up the Hickory water aquifer. We have to get that in. At this point, unfortunately, we don't have a, a good number two plan. That is our number two plan. So as, as I've said, I mean, if whether you like that plan or not, it's what we've got. We have to do that, and that has to happen now. The Hickory Aquifer uh, is a very uh, significant aquifer in the central part of, of Texas. Uh, it extends roughly from Eden uh, to Llano, uh, out to San Saba, and down toward Mason. So it covers a very large region of, the, of really the heart of Texas there. Uh, it, it contains significant amount of waters uh, that can be, be utilized for different purposes in there. Uh, the city at that point in time, after having explored uh, the brackish water, said, okay, let's now take a look at the hickory. What would it cost to develop this source and what is the feasibility of it? Uh, we've gone through very uh, extensive testing of the aquifer, running pump tests on it, evaluating the quality of the water, and have reconfirmed what they, they first discovered when they drilled the test wells in the 1970s, that that there is a significant amount of water there, water that would well last well beyond a 50 year water supply for the city and some projections put it up closer to 100 plus years uh, depending upon the rate at which the water is used. So there, there is very significant quantities of water available for the city from that aquifer. Quality wise, the minerals uh, in the water are significantly lower than what we see in our surface water locally here. So. Uh, utilizing that water you would see a very uh, distinct change. Uh, soap would lather better, the taste would certainly be different because the chlorides and sulfates are, are, are considerably lower than our surface water supply. The only difference, the only really uh, material that has to be addressed is it does contain uh, levels of radium in it beyond what's allowed by the EPA. Uh, through the different testing that has been done, through the treatment methods, uh, that can be removed very easily from the water. It can be disposed of in a very uh, safe and, and proper manner. So uh, the city at this point in time is then moving forward with uh, looking at, diff at the uh, treatment uh, for the water and in development of the Hickory aqu aquifer supply. The Hickory water is a, it's a better quality water in, a, in a, the sense of uh, constituents that we, we treat for, the hardness is less, uh, uh, the water will be, uh, uh, will actually add to the quality that we have now, will actually make the water better. Uh, more drinkable. Well, let's say if we had the hickory online right now and we're actually pumping water from the hickory, we would be blending that with what we've got coming from Ivy and the South Concho River. And the hickory water is much better quality of water overall than any of our other sources. Uh, it's lower in total dissolved solids, chlorides, sulfates. Uh, pretty much any parameter we're now looking at uh, the hickory is lower in. 
Hickory Project uh, is, is broken up into about four to five different uh, phases. First of all is the, the well field itself. Uh, nine wells were drilled in the 1970s uh, as the initial exploration and evaluation for the Hickory Aquifer. Uh, these wells are still in very good condition. We've done photographic examinations of them and they look today as good as they did the day they were drilled and completed. So the wells are in excellent condition. Uh, we will install pumps and motors in those wells, which will produce at about 500 gallons per minute on each well there. Between the wells then, there will be interconnecting piping. The wells are located on about one mile spacing, so we have about nine miles of internal piping within the well field to connect all the wells uh, into one central feeder system. From there, that will tie into a booster station. There will be one booster station located at the well field, which will deliver that water uh, all the way to San Angelo without the need for an intermediate booster station. And then comes the big part of the project, is the pipeline. About 60 miles of 30-inch pipeline will be needed to bring the water from Melvin to San Angelo. Uh, that, uh, that project alone right there will take a little over a year and a half to build as far as just the installation of the pipe itself. The next part, then the final step, is treatment of that water. Uh, that treatment plant uh, will be located either at the well field or at San Angelo. Those are some of the considerations we're still looking at this time and we'll have those decisions uh, within the next couple of months here. $1.5 million uh, of the price of the Hickory Project will be paid for from half cent sales tax revenue. The rest of the uh, current estimate which totals approximately $7.4 million, will come from uh, water rate increases. Those increases uh, would have been higher had the voters not chosen to pay for that other portion out of half cent sales tax. And so uh, we think it's a balanced approach to have more than one source help pay for that burden. Otherwise, that 1.5 would have come from even higher rate increases. And that was one of the things we've been working on is we looked at uh, trying to get some uh, grant money, uh, state and federal, and we looked at trying to find what other sources to pay for that, uh, that relatively large price tag. The main pipeline system, 30-inch pipeline, will go out to bids this fall and be under construction by the beginning of 2012. Uh, that will require to be completed and installed by June of 2013. Uh, the treatment plant will go out to bids in 2012 and be, be online and ready to function by uh, late 2013, early 2014. So between now and 2014, we anticipate all of the, the project to be completed, to be online and to be delivering water into San Angelo. Well, I think one of the things that we've really looked at with Hickory Project is, is understanding that the current drought that we're in and, and the lack of rainfall and the um, number of days that we've had over 100 degrees plus what we're seeing with some of the climatologists and their pro projections on what they really see in the near future for um, the Concho Valley in West Texas. One of the things that I've, I've done in recent months is really worked with the um, Water Utilities Department and encouraged them to accelerate the pace of the project. And so when we were talking earlier about the Hickory Project, a lot of what we were talking about is putting it out for bid later in the year. But at this point, we have actually gotten the Wellfield Project out for bid and awarded those bids. A lot of reasons why we're doing this is because when we look at the situation, we always want to plan for the worst, hope for the best. And um, at this point, we want to make sure that we have that project moving forward um, in, in, the ca in the rare event that it just doesn't rain over the next year or so and we're put into that worst case situation. One of the questions that we often get is, what are you looking at in terms of water supply beyond the Hickory? And we're looking at a number of things. Probably the most significant advancement that we've made is we're working with the cities of Abilene and Midland looking at long-term water supplies. The one thing that we all agree on is the fact that for us to be successful as communities, we're gonna to have to work together to look for that other water supply. And so we're examining a number of options as we speak um, and so when folks say, are you putting together plan B, we are, but what we're trying to do is put together the best plan that we can uh, for the three cities so we can ensure our water supply, not 50 years into the future, but we're aiming for 100 years. We again are backed in a position where we don't have a whole lot of options. 
We still have items of you know, capital expenditures we have to pay for on our water bill with the Ivy pipeline and things like that. We have to pay for the hickory on this. You have to pay for water. And unfortunately, again, in this day and time, water is our largest natural resource that we're gonna have. For this area, it's not necessarily about, oil and gas is a big industry that, that brings in employment and such, but water is our future. Without water, there is no San Angelo.